Welcome to the countryside. <laughs> so we're out for another um, walk on a, um, a spring. It's still spring, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely spring. Yeah, definitely spring. Yeah. Um, we're first here with May. Oh, it is the first of May. Oh, pinch punch. Oh, you should say white rabbits. Good luck. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, white it's it's all bullshit, isn't it? Right. So um, yeah, out with Tom, uh, my coach for. Uh, another brisk walk this morning uh, and I've just started a, a new cycle in my program so a couple of weeks ago we spoke about um, uh, the setup of it and the intensity levels and things have changed so I thought um, we should have a little chat to Tom yeah. about why they've changed and the sort of science it's all science isn't it behind it so with that waffling on for so me I, should I talk yeah go on about fitness yeah um, so Last time we talked about how we were doing, we weren't going hard in your conditioning work, um, and we talked briefly about how the week was set up for you. Um, that was like a four-week block of accumulation work, so lots of higher reps, higher volume, higher time and attention relative to the event that Mars is doing, which is one rep max, three one rep maxes in a day. Um, so doing for him six to eight reps is high rep. Um, now we've moved into a phase where we're starting to build some more intensity in. So it's important to understand the relationship between volume and intensity. And if we see them as completely opposing things, uh, let's call high volume 20 air squats and high intensity one back squat, as heavy as you can. There's a big difference there in terms of the two things. If we think about it in different terms, um, let's think about running five miles as hard as you can or running five miles really easy. You can't do both. Um, so intensity and volume, they have to be separate. So we need to start blending in towards intensity. I mean, do they not know we're filming? <laughs> I thought we'd booked out this area. <laughs> uh, so we're starting to blend some intensity into his training. So um, the way the week's set up, he has two higher volume days on a Monday and a Tuesday, or day one, day two. We then have a rest day, we then have a lower, much lower intensity session, like almost to the point where Miles will come out of the gym feeling like he hasn't done much. Um, and then, uh, and almost like working on skills, so there's some like box squats in there, so he still gets the movements in. And then we have another rest day, or two rest days, and we have a, a maximal or a higher intensity day. Um, so this is a day where we're actually going to practice the events. So this weekend, what have you got this weekend on Saturday? Uh, well, squats. Is it, it's lift. not one rep maxes though, is it? It's no, no, no. It, start, it starts at, I think it's five. Yeah. So we're not going straight into one rep maxes because he hasn't been near a what a single, heavy single for a long time. So that would be really counterproductive. But also we've got to think about we've still got quite a way to go before the event. So we don't want to like get there too soon or burn out too soon. So it's a real like balancing act. What, don't want to peak too early? We don't want to peak too early. Oh, that's not a problem for me. Um, and so when we're thinking about that we're just we're looking at the week as like divided up into chunks we've got more volume at the beginning of the week we've got some recovery period and then it should allow him to express some intensity so if we think each week the volume day we get a little bit heavier so in very simple terms we're getting stronger on that day we recover which allows us to actually get stronger and then we come and express that at a higher intensity at the end of the week. And so as we progress down the line, we'll eventually get to the point where we're doing singles at the end of the week or close to singles um, and more closely replicating what he's going to do on uh, game day, so to speak. So hopefully that gives some insight into the thinking around yeah. it. You can't basically do... You couldn't just max out every day and you also can't just do loads of volume through the day because he won't be used to going for that heavy maximal lift and your central nervous system just won't be ready to express that force. Tom. Science. Science. -ish. We love it. Theory. So, yeah. Um, Let's call it training theory. Yeah, training theory. Yeah. Okay. So, you've all been schooled and, uh, yeah. <laughs> how are we going to close this one, Tom? Um, how did we close it last time? Well, we've probably just said, we're off for a gay walk. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Nope, didn't say there was. <laughs>